the end of the world as we know it. It's Tio Twaggy Man here again. Uh, sorry for being a little late. Uh, had to go grocery shopping. Takes a little precedence over the videos, unfortunately. Um, so, today we're going to talk about gas masks. Now, I just got this one. This is the uh, M65 German made gas mask. Um, it's a little different than the ones we eat. Well, when I was in the Marine Corps, we had the M40, which uh, was kind of like this, I guess. But uh, a little different, a little bit. Anyway, this uses a 40 millimeter NATO canister. Uh, the canister was sealed in the package, but this is a surplus gas mask, so I can't promise that it would work in a nuclear uh, situation, but it would definitely work for uh, something like riot gas or something of that nature. Um, I would definitely uh, buy some brand new canisters. They still make the 40 millimeter canisters, so you can buy them new if you're worried about the whole nuclear thing, and then I would rotate that out, you know, obviously when it expires, so keep your ex uh, expiration date in mind as well. Usually I think it, it's like every five years they expire, or something like that. Just keep the expiration date in mind. Anyway, so I got this today. Um, like I said, it's a little different, but um, there's one thing about gas masks and guys with beards. So, if you have a beard, usually, I know I can't, you can't get a seal. It will feel kind of like a seal, but at the same time, you'll feel air seeping in. For me, the air seeps in right about here. So, I have an idea, and I want to see if it works. I haven't actually tried it yet. This is the first time I'm even putting this thing all the way on my face um, and trying it out. So, I have a plan. And uh, it involves this stuff right here, you know, Vaseline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub Vaseline around the room. I'm going to sacrifice my beard here for you. I'm going to rub uh, Vaseline on my face, and I'm also going to rub it around the rim and the seal right here. Because this is where you want your seal, right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Vaseline, and I'm going to coat the inside of the mask. So it's going to be nice and nasty on my face. I'm going to coat that, like that, and then I do know that I don't get a seal right here. So I'm going to take some of this, and I'm just going to gob it on my face and push my beard down, like so. I'm going to keep doing it until my beard feels kind of nasty. So, alright, so, I got that. now. Let's get ready for the next part, guys. So I got my face, you know, kind of coated down here. I got my beard kind of matted back with this Vaseline here. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this mask on. Hold on. into my face. I got no leaks. No leaks at all. Just so you can get an idea. I got no leaks in the mask. And I matted my beard down with Vaseline. So that's why. If I cover the X valve, I can feel the mask push off my face. If I cover the ent entrance, it sucks to my face. So, there's that, guys. Hold on one second. Alright, so, let me move back to the table. So, luckily, I didn't make myself look uh, totally stupid in front of you guys, and my little theory worked. So, when you check your gas mask seal, you want to uh, 
have the mask suck to your face. Like you'll feel the whole thing just suck into your face. But when you have a beard down here, you'll feel a little bit of air seeping through. So that Vaseline kind of makes a coating over your beard and mats it down. So right here where I put it and it'll kind of block that up so you can get a seal. So guys with beards, uh, in the event that you need to use a gas mask, don't worry about shaving. Just have some of this stuff around and just coat it up nice and nasty thick to get your seal. Um, this mask works a little differently than the M40. The M40 used to be a little button down under here that you push up to clear. Uh, this one, when you get your, um, when you get, um, if you have to use it, when you throw it on and you want to clear it out, you're simply going to cover the canister and you're going to blow out as hard as you can. Now, when you guys buy these, this one I bought for $20 from CH Cadell's and it comes with the filter sealed, like I said, or the canister sealed, but you're going to want to clean it. Um, this one still smelled like riot gas or like uh, CS gas, so you're going to want to clean it out. Um, and remember, these masks are surplus. This one seems to be in pretty good shape. I don't see any signs of dry rot or anything, but that kind of brings me to my next point, to where you're going to want to, you know, store it properly. You're going to want to put it in a, in a bag, um, you know, a gas mask pouch. Uh, I have one of those on the way. So that, that way you don't, you know, you're not faced with the whole dry rot issue. Um, if you can, uh, you can keep the canister on it in the bag. It's no big deal. But like I said, you're going to want to watch the expiration dates on your canisters and make sure they're not expired. Um, so, I mean, if you go check out CH Cadell's, this isn't the only gas mask they have. They have a bunch of them. Um, they don't give you the option to pick a size, so that's one of the down downsides to that site. But uh, from what I gather, or from what I, um, what I observe, this gas mask is actually pretty good. Uh, for being surplus, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, there's a couple pieces, a couple, a little bit of paint missing on the on the eye uh, eyelets, but who cares about that? I mean, it's a working gas mask, and all I got to do is throw a new canister on this bad boy, and it's ready to go in case I need it. And of course, some Vaseline on my face. But um, yeah, so there's that, guys. Um, my beard's a little nasty. Um, probably going to go rinse my face off, but uh, for you Steema viewers, the exclusive will be down there, so keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you found the post informative, please comment, leave me some likes, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff guys, I love you and uh, I'm going to keep on going, so uh, just keep on watching. Alright, thanks guys.